Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Confluence tutorial, we are going to learn about how to install apps in Confluence and manage those apps within Confluence. So let's get started. Now, in order to install the apps in Confluence, it is also a very simple process. You need to have the administrator access and go to the cogwheel in the settings, click on it, and in the Confluence settings in the left-hand side, if you scroll down, you will see the section where is Atlassian Marketplace, right? So Atlassian Marketplace is the marketplace where different vendors produce or basically develop the apps for the Jira and Confluence. So to enhance the overall functionality of Confluence, they, there are so many apps available. So say, for example, by default, you are not able to find certain functionality within the confluence there will be an app if you try to find out in the marketplace so there might be some vendor or uh, some uh, development organization who is working on providing those apps right so that's what we can do basically so we can go and in the marketplace click on find new apps and we will use some of the very very good apps which are free there are free and paid apps so free apps will filter out and we'll try to install some of the free apps. So here, this is the marketplace now in within Confluence. And here you can sort by top rated trending, selling, etc., and based on the categories as well. So for example, you are looking for charts and diagramming. So charts and diagramming are very, very widely used ones. So usually in the design, charts and diagramming tools are or the apps are very widely used so you might be requiring some charts and diagramming one you want you might be needing some of the project management or report one so that you can filter right but i will simply go to the free version of the apps so that i can show you how you can install the free version right now here on this free version page basically you can see there are many apps that are available for free for example, Google Drive for Confluence. So if you want to embed Google Drive files into any Confluence page, you can simply pick this particular app and install it, right? To install it, simply click on the app and there will be an option to get the app, right? So in the right-hand side, click on Get App. It is free, so that's absolutely fine. And it will load and you just have to click on Get It now you can view the details from this particular link i'll just simply click on get it now so it will add this google drive for confluence on this particular instance of of confluence cloud and once it's added you will see this success message being popped up right now once the app has been installed you can go to this manage app link here below atlas in marketplace below find new apps and manage this particular app basically you can configure you can uninstall it so there will be some apps which needs after installation might need some configuration to be done so you when you go to manage apps you can configure them there or you can uninstall uh, and see the details about those app right so there is a bit of documentation here so you can read out the documentation how you can embed the files or uh, google drive files in the confluence page and all those details will be provided in the documentation that you can see here. Now to see the app that has been installed, go to manage apps. And on the manage apps page, you will see the Google Drive for Confluence has been added, right? So I, if I expand this, you will see I can uninstall this app from here. I can rate and review and I can basically see all other details so marketplace listing the license support and issues etc can be referred from this particular page here right so now in order to use this google drive that we have installed so we can use the google drive integration within our pages so say for example if i go to a particular space here and we can embed the google drive files there so in the pages so go to sample page and edit the page so here, say for example, I want to embed a particular sheet here, say for example, okay. So I can simply say shortcuts so forward slash and then start typing sheet, right? So now you can see Google Sheets 
widget will be available there or you can click on this plus and click on view more and you will see all the macros basically available here so i can say sheet and google sheets will be there or i can say just say google so you can see google doc google sheets and google slides so this is basically available after we have installed that particular app so now i'll just say i'll add google sheets macro there so what i have to do is i have to just provide the spreadsheet url so this is the this is the sample sheet that i have created and once i select the url i can specify the height i can uh, check the include a link to view in the tab and this is how the preview will be because you need to sign in into the sheet google sheet to basically view it right so i can insert it and if say for example somebody wants to view this sheet in the confluence page they can sign into google and see this sheet there all right so this is very very helpful to enhance the functionality of your confluence page you can install the add-on and this is the free add-on so we have understood how you can install the add-on configure in, in terms of configuration there is nothing required so it automatically gets added and then how you can use the add-on into the pages that you create in future or use this macro into the existing pages right so you can use this uh, the new macro that will be available in this macro list into the existing pages or the new pages all right so that's all about uh, this particular tutorial i hope it was helpful and clear thank you very much for watching